Hey friends, Tux here. For this particular video, we'll be unboxing the My Arcade Game Station Pro. This is a Christmas gift. If you haven't seen my haul video over on Tux Toys, my other channel, I have a full haul video of a lot of the channel related stuff I receive. So lots of cool stuff. But this one is one I have been particularly excited to open up um, because it is classic gaming and it has a secret. Yes, it does. It has a slot, a memory card slot, which is almost unheard of in these games to pay your own ROMs on. So you could load this bad boy up with games which are not even Atari. Classic arcade games, Genesis, Super NES, NES, you name it. If it's a ROM, that's a game file, you can pop it on there and it will play almost anything. And the fact that the controllers have a rotary, a dial on them, really makes them great for playing games like Tempest or things that require other types of controls, you know. So really cool. It does have extra fire buttons, A button, a B button, and a trigger. So a lot of ways you can control it and even some RGB lighting. So really cool. The package itself you can see here is very attractive, very giftable. And I will say there'll be a link for this bad boy right below. So be sure and click that link to get yours at the very best price but definitely loving it it features the whole scope just even if you don't add any roms to this system it comes with games you know 200 plus games you know from 2600 5200 700 and atari arcade but really the fact that you can put your own memory card in there makes this something that you can load up with all your favorite games the big question for me will be will i load it up with every arcade game ever i've downloaded 6,000 plus arcade roms i could pop in there or will i just make it my very favorite games of all time so that's a debate for another another time. But you can see the box really nice. We got a picture of the controller on the back here. It does talk about the games. Has a wide gambit. Just a few. I'll name here. It comes with classic Atari games like you know Asteroids, Breakout, Centipede, uh, Demons to Diamonds. Like these are games which are Nintendo and third party games, which is interesting. Uh, Millipede classics like Maze Craze. Um, it has Sword Quest, Earthworld, Fireworld, Waterworld. It does not have was Air World the fourth unreleased one. Or the Sword Quest thing is interesting. I don't know if you know about it, but Atari, in the, the height of Atari popularity, they were actually having this contest where you could win big cash prizes. Uh, I want to say like millions of dollars or something for by beating these classic adventure games like Sword Quest, Earthworld, Fireworld, and Waterworld. And of course, during the 80s, there was a big arcade crash where basically video games became not popular because of oversaturation and you know, basically junk titles being released by all these third parties, and so they never really made it to the Air World, but you can find that Air World on, I think, Atari 50 and a few of the other collections, you know, but it's cool this has all these, and of course, like, a lot of favorites, like my favorite of all time, Tempest is on there, and the fact this has a rotary on here makes it something that you can play Tempest on. Okay, I got my scissors here. Looks like there's a few stickers you have to cut here to open the box, so I can tell this is a nice brand new unit. Very cool. We'll give this a little slicey slice. What is it, three stickers? Yep, three stickers, okay. There we go. And we'll pop this open and see what we have here. The Atari 7800 is really an interesting system that a lot of people haven't played a lot of, and that's because they made it to be the successor to the ill-fated 5200. But the thing is that because of the video game crash, it came out like years later, you know, and it was kind of competing against systems that were built much newer, like the NES or whatever. So it really, I don't think, got a fair shake, but there's some really fun 7800 games that are not on other systems. So something to think about. Oh, wow, look at that. I love the way... Nice presentation, you open this up, beautiful red box. We have a little Welcome My Arcade thing on top here. This is probably like an accessory box. Let's see what we have here in the little Atari box here. All right, so inside the box here, we have some cool stuff. We have a manual, which just really feels like a classic Atari, Atari manual. Lots of pages here. Talks about the different buttons on the thing. We got different languages. Um, this does use batteries. Okay, that's one thing that could be, probably be improved upon. The controller as well being very cool and retro style. That you do use AA batteries, so you may have to buy some batteries. In fact, I may have to go to the store and buy some batteries to boot this bad boy up. But it's cool that it is, um, I guess there are some advantages to not having to charge it, you know. But it's great that it actually uses a standard battery if you have to buy them. That's an easy to get to battery. So very cool. And then inside here looks like a little warranty card, which I'll just leave in there for right now. No comic books or classic Atari stuff like that, but still very cool color matching box. Definitely digging that. And then here's the system, guys. Ooh, look at this, man. Let's pop this out here. Looks like we have a clear plastic cover. And then we have... Um, 
HDMI cable. It's always nice to have a extra cable, so I'm definitely digging that. And the controller here, look at this controller. Wow, a uh, little bit rubbery, a little very cool. Um, looks like the batteries go in the back here. Looks like you do need a screwdriver to get into it though, which can be a little annoying. Looking at the controller, it has a nice feel, has a kind of a classic Atari kind of feel to it. Um, joystick is nice and springy. Um, looks like, of course, we do have an A and a B button, very clearly marked A and B. And here we do have that little dial. And this this feels very smooth and tight. Um, this does have a left and a right notch. It only turns so far right and so far left. So this is very much like a paddle controller and very much not like a Indy 500 Atari controller, which is a, a paddle controller that never ended. You could spin it either direction indefinitely. So that's something to make note of for some games. And down here we do have a home button, select button, and start button, which are like hard plastic. But I'm definitely digging the clear plastic A and B buttons. And it looks like this feels like it's a good size. I'm not sure having a button on the top here the best way. I'll probably hold it kind of like this with fingers behind it and then press it like that. And I do like this dial controller here a lot too. So very cool. I'd say the controller is a nice win. It's definitely something which is kind of retro and kind of future a little bit. Nice update on the classic Atari controller. I will mention it does have two controllers so you can play with a friend. So it's nice to actually include two controllers with the setup. One interesting thing here is I do see a, a little USB-C uh, cord slot here which makes me almost feel like I wish you could plug it in and play via USB-C but maybe you can plug that into a PC or something and play this on a PC which is interesting that's even there because it uses batteries this isn't like a rechargeable battery in here this is you know double A batteries so use high alkaline batteries uh, for longer play time so interesting they actually have that why is that 5 volt in there you know maybe it's to replace that I'll have to test that down the road it does have an on and off button and it does have a menu button there too, which is interesting. And it does have here, this is Bluetooth. So that's the little advantage here. You press that to link your controller to the system. Now looking at the system here, we'll pull this out. Um, very small system. Oh, let me take a look at this first, okay. So it does come with a single, looks like one single USB-C, um, which is probably the way you power this. See this AC in. So basically you have on the back HDMI and that does have a included HDMI cord. The USB-C in, which is included. And this is USB to USB-C, okay. And then on the controller here, or I guess console itself, let me pull this off, looks like we have Oh, weird. I thought it was a, it looks like there is a plastic here, but the tab snapped on me. So I'll grab that one later. It's okay. Looks like we do have two buttons here, a power button, a home button. It's interesting. They're different. This is concave and this is more like expanded outward. So very interesting. It's like that. We do have two USB-C uh, brackets here, which I'm guessing could go to the controllers in a pinch. Um, but again, it's interesting, they're Bluetooth, so I'll have to play with this a little bit and see if you could actually use this without AA batteries or batteries, and if you could just use this strictly as USB-C, but I know there is no batteries in here, so it'd have to be like a constant co connection to actually be able to power the controller from the system. But the system itself is very cute, like I'm definitely digging the, it has Atari look with the brushed aluminum here and the little, little, <laughs> it looks like it's fake. Uh, airflow looks like there's no airflow in there, but it looks like an airflow, you know, very cool um, Very small little emulation computer. I mean basically this is an Android computer which is programmed to emulate Atari uh, games so very cool and the games are built in here You have 200 plus games on the system and the best part though. Where's that slot? Where is that? Oh right here guys check it out. So this is like my favorite thing uh, right here. There is a hole for a micro SD. And this is the secret to this unit is that here you can plug in a non-included, unfortunately, but non-included micro SD card. So here you can actually plug in your own little system games and you could add literally thousands of games to this unit, you know? So that's really cool. Like I'm definitely digging the fact that you can do that. And that really kind of makes this uh, a little bit more of a user-friendly version of some of the other like micro PC 
uh, game emulation systems I've had on text reviews before. So um, it's really cool. It's on there, but um, nice, nice touch. It's nice for my arcade to be breaking out of the like controller game category and moving into like the little mini system category. And the fact they're actually embracing the fact of you running emulation games on here really helps a lot because there are arcade games like Berserk is really a good example from uh, Stern that you know a lot of these emulation systems for whatever reason don't have 2600 you know berserk on it you know which is interesting but now you can put just the full arcade game on here or add the rom to berserk if you want i think it had to do with rights that kind of thing like certain games are easier to add via rights than other games and uh, for some reason berserk is an official atari game but it's just not on a lot of their consoles or their handhelds or whatever and it's a shame because berserk was actually one of my favorite games like you know killing all the robots was a good time, you know, and in the age of artificial intelligence, you know, who knows, maybe they'll be killing us someday, so it's nice that you get the chance to kill them a little in the past, you know, so anyway, I, I hope that makes sense, I'm only joking, guys, seriously, um, yeah, I'm only joking, um, but anyway, cool system, love the fact you got the controllers, a nice little package, uh, the box could really be smaller, like this is just empty under here, there's, oh wait, no, there's more, is there more, what the heck, uh, no, it's like a fake little cardboard almost like they were gonna include something but they didn't there definitely is room in this box to include more stuff but i guess it does make it a nice giftable box when it's like this size so definitely digging that okay to recap this is the my arcade game station pro system which is a great little emulation system you don't plug cartridges in this one but you can plug in a micro sd card with thousands of games really loading up with things which are not even atari you know nes super nes arcade and so much more you know it will play a lot of those games just natively out of the box once they're plugged in and the controllers look nice too i think the only thing i would say negative about this like an opportunity would be it's almost too bad it didn't include like a classic like six button like modern you know uh home console joystick or you know gamepad or whatever for fighting games you know things like super punch out from nes like you might have a hard time playing games that use a six button configuration like fighting games on this system you know or arcade games for that matter you know like defender that has like seven buttons or more that could be a problem uh, but i love the fact you got a couple buttons here nice little trigger on the joystick might be good for games might be good for games like Battlezone, but very cool system. Um, I'm definitely digging it and I'm looking forward to diving into the emulation part because again, I've been collecting the games for this for a good long time, you know, so I'm definitely looking forward to checking that out. If you guys have any questions about the My Arcade system, let me know in the comments below or I'd be happy to help you out via email toys at gmail.com. Again, there'll be a link for this right below, but I would recommend this system, not only because it comes with 200 cool games and bonus games on top of that, but the fact it's got that micro SD card slot makes this super valuable to me. You know, think of like when I buy phones, I want phones to have micro SD card slot, and where like when it comes to emulation, that opens up a world of possibilities of what you could do with this. Everything from running, you know, different types of games, different companies' games, you know, emulating games from arcades, maybe even running like Raspberry Pi computer stuff or Linux on it. There's a lot you can do with a micro SD card slot, so definitely digging that. Um, anyway, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching the video. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Click the link.